federal program keeping people connected to the internet is going dark. Our Haley Morgan heard from a Vermont mom who could lose her connection. Since the pandemic, the affordable connectivity program has given low income families a discount up to $30 per month on their internet service. And according to a mom I spoke to, that extra money goes a long way. I wasn't aware of the ACP program. I had a friend that told me about it, which was a godsend because I needed to have an op. It was nice to have the option to be able to choose um, a provider. Stay at home mom Rebecca Cortminch is raising her three kids with her husband in White River Junction. She relies on the internet to homeschool her two kids and for her third to take online classes. She says if the affordable connectivity program goes away, she might have to make some cuts to the budget. $30. It won't be too hard for us to be able to budget in with something like that. What I'll probably end up doing is, you know, cut back on maybe buying the Oreo cookies mm -hmm. or the treats for the month instead. <laughs> I'll be like, your treat is that you still have internet. <laughs> The Affordable Connectivity Program, or ACP, has helped provide high-speed broadband to low-income people across the country and to an estimated 9% of Vermont households, or 26,000 Vermonters. Federal money is propping up the program, but it's running dry. Vermont's congressional delegation has been pushing to fund the program, but efforts so far have come up short. Communication union districts, like NEK Broadband, have helped connect homes with high-speed fiber. Officials in this program say for rural Vermonters, this ACP is essential. You look at people who are not connected to the internet today, they're more than double the number of low-income people that are connected. It comes to financial transactions or health visits or those kind of things. The people who are not connected have a significant disadvantage. Christine Holliquist says if Vermont were to invest in a program like this, it would cost about $9.3 million. But some communication union districts have extended their own programs at their own expense. Which is challenging because it's financially challenging to address these areas anyway. Vermont Senator Peter Welsh has been one of the leading voices in getting the ACP funding extended. Just last week, he introduced legislation that would provide $6 billion to keep the program afloat. In the newsroom, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.